Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be uh, saying some tips that you need to follow in TSP21 in order to be good at this game. And this applies to not only like beginner players, but you might even be like sort of like a veteran player and not know some of these things. So make sure you guys watch this video and of course like and sub if you haven't already. And yeah, let's get right into it. So the first general tip and this has a lot of like, I guess, sub tips, I guess. I mean, that's not a word, but you'll get what I mean. The first thing is do not rush your tiers. As you can see, if we go up, if you look at the, like the top left of my game, um, you can see advanced playoffs, one game playoff to silver. Now, I'm on the borderline, and I don't want to go to silver, and I'm doing that on purpose. Because when you rush your tiers, the matchmaking puts you against higher level players, and you might not be ready to face higher level players, and then the game will just get boring because you'll be losing so much. So so don't level up until you've done the things I'm about to say. So don't level up until you've at least done all your upgrades, and you can find upgrades uh, right here, at least all your upgrades. And then don't level up until you've capped all your players at whatever 10 it is. For me, it's bronze 10, but for you, it might be different might be like silver 10 or something but yeah don't do that until you've capped all your players at bronze 10 and also make sure like you have a decent amount of XP and my keepers aren't in the game yet but make sure that for for bronze exclusively make sure that you've capped your keepers and their skills all the way up um, again I don't have keepers yet but make sure it costs a lot of XP to do the keeper skills, so you should be in bronze for a good amount of time. Uh, I'm ready to move up to silver, but I'm still waiting to get keepers. Um, and yeah, and then if you really want to feel safe, um, don't level up until all your pendant upgrades are done. If you finish all your pendants, then you are like guaranteed to know that you should be going up to the next tier. However, some people level up before they do all their pendants, and that's fine. You just have to put in the back of your head. And pendants just boost your like guys overall. And I think they're especially helpful in C V C. And one more thing, you also want to cap this my legend guy and his skill similar to the keepers. I haven't made mine yet, but you want to cap him too. So that's the first overall tip. Don't rush your tears. And then our second tip is going to be about spending gold on mystery boxes. So a good thing to stand by is budgeting your gold. And the reason for this is once better players come out, you want to have more gold to spend. So a good rule to think about is not spending over 2500 And why 2500 is the magic number is because that's when you get, in Fair Wars, that's when you get three boxes. Uh, I've played like a little bit of TSP20 uh, without budgeting my gold, and it's just not fun to play because you can't open any boxes so make sure you do that and then yeah you can even like make it to like 5,000 that's what I'm basically doing if you have a really good uh, way if you, to make gold or if you like just grind gold um, I haven't made a gold video on this channel yet for TSP 21 but I will be in the next week or so um, I know it's been highly requested and that video should help you guys uh, afford to spend 2500 every uh, box opening and every box opening will be three times a week so you have your weekend you have your Monday Tuesday and you have your Wednesday Thursday if you're wondering so yeah it's a really good tip to stand by and then the next tip is actually about spending um, spending money on the game so I'm not one to spend that much money on the game honestly I haven't bought that much stuff but there are some good spending rules used to stand by and one of those is before you spend any money on this game, and if you're thinking about it, the first thing you want to buy is this daily ballpark gold thing. This thing is the, definitely the most useful uh, thing you can buy in TSB 21 because you're just getting gold forever, basically, um, throughout the whole year. And it's definitely better to buy this now instead of later because all the gold you spent before won't count towards your counter. And basically, if you spend a certain amount of gold, you'll get more gold per day. And you can get like 480 gold per day. Now that's granted that you do have to obviously spend a lot of gold to get that. But 
last year in TSB 21, I got to basically 280 per day, so it's possible. And yeah, I don't really spend much money, but if you're going to spend money after that, I would definitely recommend not buying anything unless you're getting 200 gold per dollar. So if we look at this $50 deal, definitely don't buy this because uh, you're not you're only getting like uh, 8,000 gold. You know what I mean? However, you if you need the event players, then maybe I'd buy it because you do get 10 boxes, which is 7,000 gold worth. So, but I still think that uh, this isn't a really good deal. But if we go on to this, uh, this one, this is this would be a good bundle for like someone in diamond, um, because in diamond tier you need a ton of XP, and this is another reason why you don't want to rush your tiers, because yeah, that's why. And if you're a really competitive player, you can get these um, daily toolbox box and like the CVC Edge one, but that's your call. And yeah, that's so that's a basic guide on how to spend. And yeah, so the next tip that you need to know is you want to join a decent club. They don't have to be too good, but you want to join a club that can get these club challenges done because you can actually make a really good amount of gold every week. You can make 300 gold, or I'm sorry, 700 gold, 800, I don't know what I'm saying, 800 gold per week just from doing the challenges alone. And then if you get lucky, you can also get 1,000, which is always nice. And that also goes into, like, do your daily challenges, too, so you can get this box, uh, so you can have a chance at 500 gold. And, yeah. And then our final tip for today is going to be about daily dinger. And that is going to be make sure that you only play your tickets on the mode you're best at. For me, uh, this is actually the mode, so I'm going to be playing five of these tickets off camera. Um, but I'm best at pulling the ball on the left side of the field, but you might be best on hitting it up the middle or hitting it on the right side of the field. It's just your call. Um, I'm pretty well practiced at daily dingers after playing 100 tickets but uh, in a row, but it's your call. And one other small tip you can do that I forgot to mention is uh, make sure, similar to gold budgeting, make sure you budget your bonus games because like later in the year, You'll obviously have more bonus games and ice wraps and all that good stuff, but especially like at this stage in the game, don't go crazy in events. Unless, of course, you're a VIP, then knock yourself out, but I wouldn't spend that many bonus games yet because, I mean, to do the daily challenges, you have to play five bonus games, and that's actually a pretty decent amount of bonus games at this stage in the game. And also, uh, you get 50 gold every day, so if you do all seven days, then you'll get 350 gold, I believe. Yeah. Uh, except for Monday, because you have to actually like beat five levels of walk-off hero, and I don't think many people can do that yet, so it'd be more like 300 gold. So, But that's still pretty good. So that's about all the tips I have for today. Um, this one was definitely a longer video, I think. If you have any more tips for new players or experienced players, please leave them in the comments below. I'll heart it or pin it if it's good. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. And have a great day.